What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome back to the Bowling by Jason Belmonte Ball Reviews. So we skipped out on this last week. Some of you already know that, but for those of you who don't know, I put a community post about it last week saying uh, for two reasons uh, why I skipped out on it. First reason was because the new ball that, that was released last Friday was the Electrify BSY, which I felt was nothing new, nothing, of, nothing worth making a video about because the Electrify BSY is an entry-level ball. It's nothing fancy. And for those of you who wonder what does entry-level mean, it's basically like another way of saying this uh, is a bowling ball for people who want to start out uh, bowling and don't want uh, like it's it's a it's a beginner's ball. Okay, now, I don't really know how else to describe it. It's it's a ball that usually could be probably kind of lengthy, or and have not a lot of hook. It's nothing fancy. So that's why one of the reasons why I skipped out on it. And I told uh, I did say in that community post that I, what I was going to do is I was going to pull a double and review whatever new ball they release next Friday, which is now, and along with that Electrify BSY. So we're pulling a two in one, and also. My second reason was because I wanted to take some time off from this to be able to make some, you know, videos and come up with some ideas for a small new series that I intend to, uh, to um, add to this channel, and that is two-handed bowling tips. Uh, after the first one that I made, I thought that it would, nothing big would come of it, but it surprisingly got very well received. So thank you to all of you uh, who watched that and uh, had all the, you know, just thanks for all the positive feedback on that. So... Um, that because of that, I intend to make like a something out of this, and I'm coming up with ideas. I need I'm coming up with some clips as well. So, yeah, it's it's a work in progress. It's quite a bit, but I'm working on it. And you know, I don't know. Uh, I, I do intend to continue with this, but there might be times where I may have to skip out on a, like a ball review for one week. But luckily, what I could do is I could just take that and combine it with another one. So. Uh, uh, like like I'm doing now, two and one. So I just wanted to let you guys know of all that. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's catch up on this and let's see what we're looking at. The new ball is none other than the Absolute. So again, I'm kind of disappointed here because uh, aren't they going to give us something worthwhile? Like to me, the Absolute was whatever. It was, uh, I put it up there with the DNA and the Revenant. It was a ball that I didn't even bother to take a second look at it was something that like it doesn't even, even the colors and the logo it's just like something that had me like nah you know so um but yeah anyway the cover stock on this is r2s deep hybrid and the weight block is the sentinel core so i i can't remember was this a remake of another ball that got discontinued because i'm i'm starting to think of like what was it called? I, I think the Revenant was a remake of the Spectre, and then the Absolute had to have been a remake of something else. If any of you remember, put it down in the comments because I can't remember, but I'm pretty certain that that's what this was, but I can't remember. Anyway, the power on this thing is a four, 7 out of 10. The hook is pretty strong. That's something to look at. That's like 9.5 out of 10, and the length is 6 out of 10. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade the power. Why not make this thing go super insane? And then, of course, the Electrify BSY already upgraded the power on it. But without the power, it is 7 out of 10. The hook is, I would say, that's 6.5 out of 10. And the length is 4, 5, 6, 7, 7.5 out of 10. So, yeah, like I said, this is like an entry-level ball, even though... Based on these stats, they make it look like it's some kind of uh, almost like a mid-level, almost going to an upper mid-level wall. So, yeah. Anyway, it's got the Reactor Pro Reactive cover stock and a circuit core released in May 2023, while the Absolute was released in January 2023. Very nice. Okay. So, let's get a look at what these things can do. And, uh... Let's see, what are we going to start off with? I guess we'll we'll go ahead and we'll start off on the Big Ben pattern on the with these two. So let's see, two-handed, that's nice. Start on the benchmark spot that this or the default spot that this thing likes to put us in. There's that length. Doesn't even move. Not bad. Let's move in to 17. You got 
quite a bit of abyss room with this ball. I mean, I was on 20 or 19. I'm already forgetting. I got bad memory. Moved two boards to the right. This ball's working just nicely. Until that happens. Now let's look at the absolute. So let's go ahead and set up the stats. 10 to 45. Very nice. And let's see what this thing can do. If it's Pearl, then it's definitely going to have a lot of zip in the back end, I assume. So we'll go to 30. Test that out. Looks like it has some continuation. That's what I saw. See what I mean? Like it, it, it pulls towards the pins. Or it gets pulled. So it definitely looks like it's got some continuation, but it doesn't look like anything fancy, at least on this pattern. So... Yeah. Looks like it has some... It kinda, I kind of see the Marvel Pearl. Like if it got amped up or something. That's what I see from this ball. So let's change the pattern. Go to Stonehenge. And see what happens there. So we'll start on 19. Now it starts to respond a little sooner. Has a little more back end. Go to 23. Yeah, there it is. Okay, not bad. Actually, let's uh, do some quick comparisons here now that we're on this. And I know there's another, yeah, the Electrify Hybrid. Let me look through this entire thing and see if there actually is an another... I don't remember there being another Electrify ball. I think the Hybrid was the only one in here. I don't think they ever got around to uh, adding any of the other ones. As far as I can remember... And yeah, that was the only one. So, okay. Now we know. And I'll go ahead and I'll put in the Marvel Pearl as well because of what I saw with that Absolute on that longer pattern. So, let's get this Electrify out and go on 23 like we were. That definitely looks like it grabs at around the same time as this BSY. But it looks like, I don't know. Definitely just a pinch stronger. Did you see how it went high right there? Yeah, the Electrify Hybrid is definitely just a little bit stronger, even though that shot was bad. Look at that. Here's that length. A little bit slower getting around the corner. Yeah, this ball is just a bit stronger. It grabs at around the same time as, as the BSY, but... Definitely looks like it gets a back around. It definitely grips a lot better. So let's try this absolute. Go to 30. There's that continuation right there. Definitely gets this ball back around. Go to 32. I see that continuation. So that's the big thing with this ball. Is that it... I want to say it's not early for a pearl. It's not very late. I want to say it's very in the middle in terms of its response time. But the continuation is something that really stood out to me. However, it is looking like a difficult ball for me to use because of that length that it has to it. And it doesn't necessarily like really grab at the lane. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay. So, based off of that, I'll move to 33. See what I can do with that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Nothing fancy. Just, you know, a little more continuation than I'm used to seeing. And then here's a comparison with this ball. So, we were on 33, I think. Right? See that? It's not there. So, that that's how you know this ball is definitely... Much stronger, but the length seems just about the same. Do you know what I mean? It looks like it's continuous too. It's got that same kind of strength in its continuation, but the, the it doesn't have it's not as strong. Alright, now let's get on the Eiffel Tower, aka Hydroplane, and see what happens there. This ball is not going to move at all. I just know it. See what I mean? Didn't even move at all. Oh, 
Okay, so it moves a little bit based off of that. Let's try 21. Man, that is a fine line to play. Very little room to miss here. I know for a fact that if I send that ball out to the right, it's gone and it's never coming back. There you go. Yeah, see? That's, that's kind of a tough line for me to play. Let's move a little. So you can be at around 21 and 22. Not bad. Alright, so let's actually test this out just so you can see the difference. See how much stronger that ball is? See what I mean? This ball needs to be a board over compared to the BSY, so that's how you know that ball is stronger. Let's take a guess here, go to 30. Nothing fancy. Yeah, now you see why I'm a little disappointed here. I mean, this ball, it's, uh, to me, what I see, you guys might see something different, but to me, what I'm seeing is the Marvel Pearl if it got amped up. All right, let's take it to the boardwalk, see what we get out of that. All right, we'll stay on 19 and see what happens. Wow, we can just stay right there. Although that did look like it went a bit high, so I'll move to 20. Not bad. Definitely doesn't, like, this is probably the first time in a while that I see a ball go down this pattern, and it doesn't, like, take, like, a wicked turn to the... To the left, you know? Look at that. See, it acts like normal, you know, like, not like every other ball, like, say, I don't know. Let's see, actually, the Electrify Hybrid and see what happens. See what I mean? You see how you can really see that it grabs and turns. That's... This ball, because of its length and cover, pearl cover, it just doesn't look like that. See what I mean? It doesn't just... Compared to this. See what I'm talking about? So that's... Another way of showing you the difference between these two. Now let's try this absolute. <laughs> you see what I mean? There it is. There's that grab and just wicked turn to the left. This ball would be good for this pattern. I kind of like it. It makes it look like it's kind of easy to be on this pattern. You got some room to miss. I swear I got it to that, that dry side a little, a touch earlier. And it still didn't like grab and turn and go high or through the nose. See, that was a little bit further up. So I know I have... The, the, the window's still like, it's not like insanely tight, but I got some room there. Okay, now let's try the arsenic pattern, and I imagine this ball is not going to have any kind of movement whatsoever. We'll try 12. This ball is not for this pattern. How about 7? I don't like that. That's tough, because if I get, if I so much as get to the that dry part there, I think it's gone. Let's see what happens, actually. I guess that's what happens. So yeah, you can't mess up on this one. So now let's get the absolute and see what happens. That shouldn't have been a 10. Whoa, okay. This ball, to me, it looks like it doesn't have a problem you know what I mean like you know how with some bowling balls on this pattern when it passes over that light part it looks like it wants to grab early and turn and then it just hits that heavy part and it just does that really weird thing with this one and you don't see that see what I mean it doesn't like grab like watch let me get the actually the DNA something that really does like to grab and look what happens watch see what I mean 
grabs right there, but then because of that heavy part of the oil, it like it just glides right through. But you can see that early grab because from that lighter part of the oil. Not with this one. See what I mean? Just glides right through that regardless of what volume of oil is there. All right, now we're gonna top it off by going to Easy Street. And let's see, we'll start with the BSY. We won't go too crazy with this ball because it's nothing crazy. It's lengthy, doesn't have a lot of back end. Start right there. And yeah, this ball doesn't have like a crazy zip to it on the back end. I don't know how I just did that. Okay, um, we'll go to 30. Hit the friction too early. I gotta not do that. All right, so I think 30 could be the place to be, but man, that's tough to play. Because then that happens if you so much as get it to that friction just a bit early. Let's see what happens if I move to 31. I think that would be easier because you see my problem is that I, I it's, it's tough to get it to that corner, that right corner up there at the end. And I always get it right here, like right there, you see that? Where it touches. And it's, oh, messenger. And it that seems to work a lot better for me. But this ball, I have a problem with carry right now. I think 31 would be the, the spot with this ball. But I don't like it. You know, this ball, it's too lengthy. The back end is too weak. It's not my kind of ball. All right, now we'll try the absolute on 35. Gets around the corner pretty quick on this pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep moving to the left and see where the sweet spot will be with this ball. Try 37. And immediately just zips back. Okay. Here we go again. I'm going to try 40. Almost there. All right, I'm trying 40. I think that's 42. Again, I can't tell. I think that might be it. I got to try to not get it to that part that I like to get it to. I got to try to get it more towards the corner. Yeah, that's the spot. I, I think I like it right there. 42. 42. All right, you guys. So that is pretty much it. Nothing fancy. Again, I feel like I find myself saying that quite a lot. I mean, the only time I haven't had to say that was when the exotic gem came out. But other than that, you know, I, I, I wish they would come up with something that I do like, but they keep coming up with these bowling balls that I didn't even like in real life, like the Absolute and the Revenant. I didn't care for those. The Summit, I thought was going to be like insanely cool. Uh, it didn't turn out to be anything cool in real life because I, I thought it was based on the specs. Like it was like 2.46, which is I think the earliest, uh, if any of you understand what the R, how RG number is and how that works, 2.46 is the earliest thing they've ever come up with beating the gem by one. Uh, I think it was 2.47. And then the differential, I think, was like 0.56, which, is, which matches the nuclear cell. And the dark code was like 0.058. So this thing should have technically been like the strongest thing ever. But after watching videos of it, it really wasn't. And I think part of that was because of the cover. The cover that they put in, into it, and then of course the weight block that they put into it. I don't know. I, I, I was thinking this was going to be some kind of like axiom on steroids or something, but uh, because you know the logo kind of gave me that idea that it would be, but no. And then of course the Absolute and the Revan, I believe, being like remakes of bowling balls that were banned around that time. Remember, uh, if any of you remember those, there was like six Storm and Roto Grip balls that were banned or something. 
And yeah, I know that the Spectre was one of them. I know there was another one, but I swear, I think the Absolute uh, was a remake of something. The DNA turned out to be really, really cool in this game. That was one that I actually liked because it's like insanely early and like just, it's mainly like that it's, it's super early. That's what I like about it. And actually, let me throw you one shot just to remind you of how crazy this ball is. Let's see, 37? That's insanity, I tell you. The strongest thing in the game, still. Holds up real nice, but yeah. Uh, the exotic gem I thought would be cool because I've seen it in real life and it's pretty strong. And in this game, it's not really all that great. And then the Electrify BSY, what a, what, what a waste of a week. I waited one week for that and yeah. As I, as, I, as I expected, it's nothing, it wasn't worth it. But anyway, we've got four, five, six, six new balls so far. And I wonder what they're going to release next. But they're still going with this, and I hope they don't stop. Because this is, this is a lot of fun, wondering what the next ball is going to be when that timer runs out right there at 50 hours. So um, the part that really sucks is that you have to run the marathon. 20 games just to win it, and if you run out of three strikes, you have to like pay five bucks to get back in either that or you have to pay these ridiculously insane prices to get the new ball if you don't want to run through the clash oh, man unbelievable but anyway that's my take on the electrify bsy and i believe the absolute as well and once again i cross my fingers i hope and i pray that they come up with something that i actually like and yeah, that's just going to keep me wondering for the next 50 hours. So anyway, yeah, there you go. I'm Frank the Tank. I will see you guys next week.